Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to LearnAutomation.com. This is Mukesh. So, I think the one of the most important topic uh, finally we are covering. Uh, so, in this uh, video's tutorial, we'll see how to execute your Selenium test on Android real device, and um, we will execute our test on Chrome browser. So, a very small agenda. We need to run our test on real device. So if you have installed everything in your machine, then it's hardly two minute task. You, what you need to do, you need to connect your device, start APM server and start writing your code and run it. Since I'm connected with my mobile device, so I have installed TeamViewer in my mobile device and I have TeamViewer in my mo uh, laptop as well. So I have connected my device here. So you can see my device is coming here and I'm connected through Wi-Fi. So you will get little bit lag and you need to do some setting here so on your real device what you need to do you need to go to setting and right now you can see i'm getting one developer option option this developer option here but sometime you will not get this option so what you need to do you need to click on about phone and uh, if you go at last you will get this build number so in case the developer option is not coming, you need to tap this seven times. Okay, so you can see one message is coming, no need, you are already a developer. But if you have, if you don't have developer options, once you press this seven times, that option will enable. So if you go back, you'll get this option, developer option. And you need to do a small change here. You need to enable this. So you can see when USB debugging is on in your case it will be off so you need to click on on and that's all so this is from your uh, real device side and you need to connect through pda dot uh, pda net so this will automatically detect so once you have once you will install pda net right and once you connect to device it will automatically detect and you will see one option here you will see pda net ready to connect so it means our device is ready if you want to do cross verify uh, open command prompt and simply type adb and devices devices so you will get one list so right now i have only one device attached to my machine so it's showing only one device so now uh, from your device side everything is ready now I need to start a APM server so I will simply type APM and hit enter it will take some time so it is saying uh, I am using very older version 1.3.7.2 latest is this so I will say no I don't want to download the new one so this is the uh, let me minimize it yeah so this is the window for APM let me show you something here uh, you must be familiar with this window now on the right hand side you will get one option to start and stop the APM node server you will get this inspector as well we'll talk about inspector later on here you have an um, delete log option if you want to delete the logs here we have some settings so before moving to the actual uh, scenario you need to do one small setting here you need to select here one option called use browser and you can see I'm getting uh, three options here browser browser chrome and chromium select chrome from here and better if you say no reset if you don't select this and if you say or in case if you select full reset it will reset your chrome browser so i will recommend you select no reset select use chrome and here you need to select platform android okay and platform version since i'm using the 22 but 22 is not listed here so i will select the highest version that is 4.4 kitkat and api level 90. only some changes here let me repeat again use browser chrome select on no reset 
um, here you can type Android and uh, it's already there simply now start this and one more thing uh, if you check one more thing here by default it runs on 4723 but I change the port um, but if you don't change that's completely fine I simply change it just for my experimental purpose so it will start on this particular port that is 4727 and uh, it is running on localhost so simply click on this so you will get one notification like starting node server just wait for 5 to 10 seconds okay it will start in the meanwhile yeah it is started and says uh, welcome to APM the version number and it says it's running on this uh, localhost port number and so, so just remove this log I don't want so you, you have one delete option so everything is clear here now you need yeah this is the code that I have written just to so let me close this so this is the project that I created just now APM test and inside this I have added only two library so one is selenium server standalone that we generally use and Java client that we discuss so I have let me go back so I have added selenium server and Java client that we discussed in the last video so I added that two libraries here and I created a small package called demo and I started a new class called start chrome only five to six line of code that you need to change so you need to write desired capability here dot android you can see you will get so many options here if you put dot operator so desired capability is a separate class in selenium web driver which will help you to customize the uh, test case so you can see I can run my test case on Android iPad iPhone Safari browser as well as of now I want to run on Android so I have selected Android so it will return your desired capability object that is capability now you need to define couple of uh, properties here so say capability dot set capability now mobile capability type is a separate interface okay and you need to specify which browser so I will say Chrome then you need to specify the platform as well so I have a specified Android you need to again specify platform name this is platform this is platform name in both the cases you have to specify Android then finally device name this is not required but uh, until you don't specify uh, it will not allow you to execute so give any random name I have written my phone and uh, version which version you want to execute I am working on 5.1.1 so if I show you my device configuration if I go to setting and if I go to about phone I have version 5.1.1 so I have simply specified that's all so this is five lines of code that you need to change and this code don't worry I will give you the link in the description so in this video uh, in the description if you click that link you will get this code you can copy paste and you need to create a object of a URL class so simply type URL okay, URL is a class so we are creating object of it and we need to specify the remote uh, URL so our APM is running on this port right I have changed it to 7 in your case it will be 23 if you are not changing it WD means web driver hub and finally you are almost done so till now we are typing web driver driver equal to new Firefox driver right now you can type web driver driver equal to new Android driver you need to pass this URL that we created and you need to pass the capability that we designed here right now you can start facebook.com so if you 
try to open Facebook in this device let me show you how it will look like Facebook if I open the Facebook here so this is the sign up page I don't want sign up if I okay sorry let me go to the sign up page sorry login page mm, yeah login to Facebook so I will get this uh, window so what I did uh, sorry this is the let me open in a cognito window m.facebook.com so once you open in mobile it will start with m.facebook.com and when I type the same I'm getting the same screen here so I just took the name from this just like same as we do in a regular script right so if you click on it and click here you will get the name here called email same thing I will get here for password field for password field uh, where's the yeah name is pass so I did the same thing I am opening facebook.com then I will print the title then I will type something so I am typing mukesh at the gmail.com mukesh underscore silly in the password field I am clicking on submit button and let me do one thing let me put some thread dot sleep as well so that at least we can uh, see the execution I will wait for five second and it will throw you some checked exception called interrupted exception okay so I will repeat this code again if required let me quickly run this and just uh, check whether it's working fine uh, so APM server is ready our system is ready what happened to the system I think I lost the connection let me connect it again yeah connection lost Just give me a minute, let me connect. So, this is how I connect. I have installed Team Weaver in my uh, mobile as well, and this is the partner ID for my mobile. It will take some time. Yeah, it started now. So let's run it. Uh, I will right click on this, run as test ng test. So you'll notice it will start doing some processing on APM. You can see this processing is happening, and if you see here, it will take some time five to six seconds, and it started Chrome, and it started Facebook. Now it will type mukesh at the gmail.com same password click on login now I have given uh, five seconds wait it's waiting and then it will quit see so congratulations it has worked successfully run one failure zero skip zero without any failure okay and let me repeat it again we started desired capability I have specified Android then using this capability object i set one capability called browser name to chrome platform to android and platform name again to android then device name any name you can give and uh, version of your device then simply start the url so since selenium uh, sorry apm is running on a server here so that server we created locally right so it's running on this port number and this URL so just specify the port number along with the URL and you can start Android driver here so web driver driver equal to new Android driver pass the URL pass the capability and remaining code will be same 
So this is very a basic example. Once we move forward, we will face so many advanced activity which we do in our normal uh, mobile, right? Double tap, swap, uh, and long press, and different activity. So uh, I will suggest you before going for the, uh, you can say, hybrid application, native application, just try to run this. And if it is working fine in, from your side, then you can start working with the native and hybrid application. As of now, whatever test you have automated on your browser, try to run same in your Android uh, device as well. And trust me, script will be same. Okay, uh, only the starting point will change. So in the next uh, video, I will show you how to work with native application and hybrid application as well. So if you have any doubt, you can comment in the below section, in the description, sorry, in the comment section and the code which I have written here, I will uh, post in my blog and you will get the link. So you can copy paste and try same in your machine and try to write some different scenarios and try to create new script from your end. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.